what's going on everybody welcome back we have to redo the intro because there was no audio so here we are now with audio and as i just mentioned definitely check out factor they're a sponsor for the stream for the month of november so uh, you get 50 50 off your first box with the link and promo code you see right there or down in the description box definitely check them out it's an amazing way to support the channel they give a significant kickback so uh if you guys are looking for a way to get free meals not free meals, discounted meals uh, where, that are pre-prepared pre and delicious, definitely check out Factor. Uh, helps me out a ton, and I appreciate it. So uh, let's see if Caverns of Ix... This is our first Caverns of Ixalan draft as well. So let's see if it's any good. We're going to do terribly. I just want to be clear. I have no... Uh, it typically takes me a couple draft drafts before I really get my bearings in terms of a draft format. So, all right, here we are. These lands are really sweet. I, I appreciate them a good deal. All right. So we have a restless reef. It's a nice little creature land there. Uh, artifacts your components control into the battlefield tapped. Ooh, sacrifice, destroy each artifact, mana value X. Equipped creature has you may look at the top card of your library at any time, and whenever this creature attacks, it explores. Pit offerings is a cave. Thank you. Uh, whenever attentive sun scribe becomes tapped, scry one. Makes sense for scribes to scry. Uh, Target artifact creatures under puts on the top or bottom of their library. Negative neg dead weight, obviously. Family reunion. Plus one, plus one. I might just go with the land here. Target creature gets plus one, plus oh. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent control. So it's basically just a fight. Or a bite, rather. It's not a fight. Uh, when idol of the deep king enters the battlefield, there's two damage to target any target craft. What, is, what does this guy do? When it's Quint, firstborn of Gashath enters the battlefield, you may pay two. When you do, target dinosaur deals damage equal to its power to another creature. So for four mana, you kind of get like a mini flame tongue Kavu. Or you can even choose a different dinosaur. Hidden Cataract, another cave, but it discovers four. Discover being very similar to Cascade. Plus two, plus oh, and flash. When it dies, return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Too bad there's no grief in this format. MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Sage of Days. Enters battlefield with the top three cards of your library. Look at the top three. You may put one of those back and the rest in your graveyard. So, eh, okay. This does count for Descend, so not bad. Maybe it's bad, I don't know. Until the end of turn, an artifact or creature becomes a dinosaur. It makes it a 4-3. Um... I'm going to take this guy because I want to be dinosaurs. Walk with the ancestors. Five mana. Return up to one permanent from your graveyard to your hand and then discover four. Over the edge, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Turgor creature control explores, then it explores again. So you get two explorers. Hidden nursery. I don't know how good these are. It's really nice to have lands in your deck that just become spells later in the game. That essentially draw you cards or cast you cards. Uh, join the dead. Negative five, negative five. Or if you've descended... And I guess you don't have to descend, right? You just If you have four more permanents, it just, it's automatic. So Negative ten, negative ten. That's actually pretty good. Abyssal Gore Stalker. Six mana. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices two creatures... If you descended, create a treasure token. That guy actually seems very good. I'm going to take join because I think it just goes better with a... I think the land is stronger than this guy. I'd rather have a card that goes better with the land. These are just fantastic. Soul Coil Viper. Three mana for a 2-3. Return a creature Thanks. from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. <laughs> MTG Pyro clearly wasting no time with the gifted subs, my dude. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you, man. My goodness. 
When inverted iceberg in his battlefield, mill a card, then draw a card. So two mana, you get a mill and then you draw. When Thank it, you. And then you can flip it as a 6-6 six, six if you have an artifact in play or in your graveyard. And then there's Thank this 6-7 with ward 3 and island cycling. I think I just want this guy. Also, Mephetic Draught. Draft? Is it Draft? What do we got? A Squirming Emergence. Return to the battlefield. Target non-land permanent card in your graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. This is rare. I literally can't tell by the symbols whether cards are rare or common or uncommon. What is Fathomless Descent? I guess that just like depends like where it makes the number relevant. Uh, when Compass Nome enters the battlefield, you may search lever for basic land, put it on top, I imagine. Yeah, of course. When this attacks, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. It's a 3-4 for 4. When this enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from their hand. I'm going to take this guy. Two five for four, it gets plus two plus O oh, as long as there are four permanents in your graveyard. So four five. Um Excel a creature, a vehicle, or non-basic land and scry. Probably taking that. Six mana to create a token that's a copy of a creature you control. And it's cheaper with flashback. Yeah, I'm just taking Ray of Ruin here. Or I'm going to try to, anyway. Why is it not letting me drag this? There we go. That was weird. Gargantuan Leech. Eight mana. It costs one less for each cave you control and each cave in your graveyard. And here's a cave. Sacrifice it, put two one one counters on a creature. Deadweight. I think we're just taking the deadweight, right? Enchant creature or vehicle. You may mill two cards. They get negative X where X is the number of permanent cards you control in your graveyard. All right. I'm just going with the dead weight. It's cheap and good. Whenever this attacks mill a card. Are we playing 40 cards in this format? I have had one of the worst days of my life and I have to cheer myself up somehow. Good grief. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. And I do appreciate that gifting subs is, is one of the ways you do that. But man, that's a bummer. Yes, I think all the non-basics are caves except for the creature lands. When this enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature? Why is it doing this? Unlucky drop. An artifact creature puts it on top. Yeah, we remember that. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, two damage to any target. So it's just a three mana shock. But then you can craft to make an equipment that's plus two, plus O. Oh. I guess we're just taking unlucky drop here. Don't care about that. Don't really care about any of these. Four damage target attacking or blocking creature, sure. Oh, inverted iceberg came back. Oh, another one. Wow, that's interesting. I don't like this where I'm like trying to pull a card from the from the draft area and then it's like getting stuck and going to the card next to it. Like this, watch, I'll click on this. I'll try to drag it and it'll work perfectly because I'm I'm trying to do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, without having drafted this format yet. I feel like this could be a decent start. What happens when you craft this with a creature? It becomes an artifact at the beginning of your upkeep. Each opponent loses life and you gain a life. Oh, wow. I was actually kind of hoping that leech came back. Especially because we have a cave now. Waterlogged Hulk. Mill a card. Just tap it to mill a card. Craft with an island. To make a 4-4 Vigilance... Interesting. Can't be blocked as long as there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard. 
Oh, it's a it's a it's a vehicle though, so it does have to be crude. That's fairly crude. <laughs> three, three, four, four. Sacrifice another creature artifact. Put a one one counter on Vito's Inquisitor. It gains menace until the end of the turn. Pretty decent with the uh, with the artifact that draws you a card whenever it comes into play or goes to the graveyard. And we have a one two when it enters the battlefield. It explores. Sure. Look at the top two cards you like. Put one of those in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Hmm. I'm very suspicious about milling yourself. I'm just going to take this 2-2 two, two flyer for three that makes a map token. 1-2 flash for, for one. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent creature and opponent control gets negative two. Removal. Captivating Cave does help us splash. Uh, this is six damage for six mana, and you can also cycle it. And then we have the Soul Coil Viper. Is this just Doomed Necromancer? Doom Necromancer, one black and a tap. Sacrifice and return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, it just gives a finality counter and you can only use it as a sorcery. And it's a 2-3 instead of a 2-2. But yeah, it's basically just Doom Necromancer, which was a rare. I'm just going to take... Actually, let's take the runaway. Okay. I'm just clicking on this to reserve it because every time I re-click it to drag, it goes to the vents. Okay, just going to leave it like that. Defossilize. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, then it explores twice. That's pretty neat. Another join the dead, which seems pretty good. For three mana. Yeah, this is an error. Look, I'll click it once. And then when I click it to drag it, it just re-highlights this card. I only have four creatures so far, but I also have two inverted icebergs, which need artifacts. So actually we can exile our runaway boulder to, to craft with this. All creatures get neg too. If this a creature is uh, killed this way, it basically gets exiled. Sacrifice so a creature artifact. We got the boulder. Yep, trying to, okay. Yeah, don't don't like that. Definitely seems like a bug. It's not a feature. And we also have a an eight mana guy. Another hidden cataract, mephitic draw draft again? I want to call it draft. Is that how you pronounce D-R-A-U-G-H-T? Draft. It is. It sure is. Mephitic draft. Okay. Discover 10. <laughs> oh, you don't even have to sacrifice this, right? That's kind of interesting. Two mana to tap an artifact or creature seems pretty good. Is that good? Three, three, four, four. When it enters battlefield, if you control an artifact, tap an artifact or creature an opponent controls and put a stun counter on it. That's actually, that seems very good. Little Wookie, thanks for the bits. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, my dude. Draw three cards, then discard a card. Decent. 4-3, if you descended this turn, create a 1-1 one, one black fungus token that can't block. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's take that guy. Confounding Riddle. Look at the top four cards. Oh, this is actually just an improved Supreme Will. So Supreme Will is three mana instant, just like just like Confounding Riddle. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. This is counter target spell unless its controller pays four. Supreme is look at the top four cards, put one in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library. This is look at the top four and put one in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna take that.
This is only pack two. I don't know how to how to rate these cards, but it feels like we're doing. Look at these. Look at these beautiful lands. This looks very islandy, though. This is a significantly blue land. Another ray of ruin. We have we'd have double ray of ruin, double join the dead, and a dead weight. What does this little this little rascal do? One four, but it be, it could become a four one with vigilance. I actually kind of like that guy. And this is. An artifact with flash, when it enters the battlefield, tap up to one creature and or artifact creature, put a thing on it. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna take the the Nautilus here. I kinda like having a one four that can also be a beater. Another this is the original Vito's Inquisitor that we passed. Arazka Puzzle Door. Millicard. And then it becomes a four four vehicle. I kind of just want to take the counter spell. Um, yeah, I'll take the captivating cave here. Mephitic draft. All right, sure. We do not have one yet. Oh, this guy just loots every time you tap it. That's pretty cool. Oh, this whip came back. All right. What does Atali's favor do? We just discover three, and the creature gets plus one, plus one, and trample. That's actually very sweet. This reminds me of Galvanic Arc a lot from Ravnica. Where it's a three mana enchantment that deals three damage, but then it also gives like plus one, plus one, and first strike to the creature. Or just first strike, I think. Yeah, it just gives it first strike. But the point is, it was a three mana removal spell. But you had to have a creature, and it kind of gave another bonus to the creature, whereas this is like, this is a three-mana spell that you're casting that gets you something that costs three or less, but then it also gives a creature plus one, plus one, and trample, so. Ooh, Chupacabra Echo. Definitely taking that guy. What does Visage of Dread do? When it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an artifact or creature card from it, and that player discards it. Yeah, we're just taking the big choops. Little choops? Who is this? Akawali, the Seething Tower. Hmm. Three, three for three. As long as there are four more permanent cards in your graveyard, gets plus two, plus two. As long as there are eight or more, gets an additional plus two. Like how it seems like it'd be pretty decent in this deck. We have a Captivating Cave, is that enough? I don't know. There's also Earthshaker Earth Dreadmaw is cool, but we don't obviously know any dinosaurs. Hey, you may roll a dinosaur if you do, or if you control another dinosaur, you gain three. As an initial cost, sack an artifact or creature, draw two cards, and create a map token. As long as there are four permanents, this gets a plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. Fascinating. I think it might be fanatical offering. Who knows? It's very hard to take cards. Please fix. This attacks Millicard for three. Another boulder. What is Dig Site Conservator? Two one for two. Sacrifice it exile to four cards from a single graveyard. When it dies, you may pay four if you do discover four. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that seems very good, actually. Like you're just trading it in at that point. But also getting rid of some of their descend. Oh, this seems pretty sweet hurl into history i do kind of like that what does rampaging spike tail do five six target creature controls plus two plus one indestructible when it comes into play uh i think we're just taking the, the hurl so this is 23 cards one three death touch for three whenever it attacks if there are four more permanents you draw a card and lose a life oh yeah we're definitely taking that guy that guy seems fantastic Another Waylay Pirates. Oh, what up, Grandma? If you're gonna hurl, hurl into this. Buried treasure, add one man of any color. 
Exile from Braver to Scar Discover Five. That actually seems fairly good as well. Nope, don't want that guy. What is Didact Echo? Enters Battlefield, draw a card. It's a 3 2 for 5. It has flying if there are four more permanents in your graveyard. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Also, Skullcap Snail. Another Skullcap Snail is interesting. If you're going to hurl, hurl into this. If you're going to spew, spew into this. Oh. Oh. Hard to say if we're winning, you know? Who really knows? What is this sinuous benthosaur? Four, 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 six. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards where X is the number of caves you control plus the number of cave cards in your graveyard. Put two of those into your hand. You had me at four, 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 six that draws two cards. Okay. Another. Oh, that's not a. That's a mephitic draft, but it's not really a mephitic draft. It's just a trick. This is 29 cards now, so I need like four cuts. Oof. This set seems very good. It seems like there's a lot of cards that do things. Ooh, I like having a hidden necropolis. Like even these lands are kind of cool. Another runaway boulder. Is this just a 1-1 a one -one with lifelink? Fascinating. I don't know what this does, but I'll just check it out. Sacrifice it to destroy a non-basic land. They may search the library for basic land. Then you create a treasure. That's not one of my favorite iterations of that card. Oh, an island. All right. <laughs> you got a misprint. <laughs> it's worth a thousand dollars. So Captivating Cave actually might be worth it. Like it adds to our, like this guy is good with Captivating Cave. It's a 5-5 five five with lifelink. This guy is kind of expensive, but he island cycles. This guy wants more caves. You just get to draw two with this guy? That's nuts. I like this guy. I like all three of these. So four lands puts us to 27, huh? I like that guy. I think we can cut one of these for sure. Maybe both. I don't know how good this card is. I feel like, I feel like we have a decent top end here. One, one draft is probably all I want. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. That's the draft is good for that. I like snail. I don't know if I care about tithing blade. But just making them sack a creature seems fine. That guy seems good. That guy seems good. I can see confound. I think it's definitely one of these four drops. This is a four five for four if we have the descend. That guy's good. That guy's good. Man, we got two more cuts, huh? Two more Cutty McCuttersons here. <sighs> Do we need Vito's Inquisitor? I don't think so. That puts us to 13 creatures. I could see Cutting Tithing Blade. 
we have a lot of removal. We have Ray of Ruin, Double Join the Dead, Deadweight, Chupacabra. Yeah, I can see cutting the tithing. Okay, bring these guys in. This is also is a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four, blue, blue and Black Shark with Death Touch. And whenever it attacks, target player mills 4. I mean, that's actually pretty reasonable in, uh, in Limited. That's like quite a clock. So this is a seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. So this would be nine, eight plus a captivating cave. Yeah, I can see that. That's good. All right, that'll do. All right, round one, our very first ra ever round in Lost Caverns of Ixalan. We are lost in the caverns of Ixalan. I'm eating a yogurt. <laughs> Fucking garbage food updates, man. Get me every time. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious yogurt. Yo Kermit, what flavor? What's your yogurt flavor, bucko? Um, this is fine. Elenos apple. By Elenos, I assume it's a Greek yogurt. All right, indestructible. A creature gets plus one, plus one, and has whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure. That seems very good. What? In the, that seems insane. Equip two. Yeah, that's good. That's good, my man. Oh, look at this! Look at this! This little this little thing running around the OK logo. That's really nice. Wow. Okay. Magic Online, you stepping it up a little bit. Okay, no creature though. That guy comes in to play tapped, huh? I guess we don't need it yet. Yeah, we can actually, we have enough lands to play two drop into three drop into three drop land. Yeah, our whole hand costs three. Oh, we have double join the dead here, huh? Look at this. You're just showing off now. These lands are really pretty. These are some good looking basics. Would you rather have the cool blue thing or be able to drag cards? <laughs> Choose one. Uh, put a one in counter target creature. I assume you put it on yourself. That guy seems very good as well. Jeez. So this guy's just a two, three. Usually this guy is a two, two. Oh, wow. Double diamond pickaxes. Well, they could double equip, make two treasures. I could block with a 1-3 and trade. The planes are on a mountain. Huh, I see what you're saying. Um, Yeah, I guess we're just passing and keeping up Join the Dead. And like one way or another, we can kill that guy, so... Oh yeah, make it smaller.
They're thinking. Love me some bee scotch. Oh, but <laughs> I get it. Yep. Let's go to the beginning of combat. Let's see if we can kill this fine gentleman. And we can. Oh, and they played nothing else, which is good for us. Oh, and we get a little Chooper. Chooper does nothing right now. But... We can make a little mapper. And we're just going to play that guy and get in there, I think. Yeah, get your planes. So next turn, I think we actually sacrifice this guy to discover for four. Maybe. It explores. Sure. It's pretty good. We could also just kill that thing, too. Oh, Ray of Ruin actually might be better here. And then we get to Scry 1. I do kind of like that. Our graveyard's not looking too hot right now. Does the mana in the mana pool have arrows next to them? Yes. Because you can, like, see where they came from. Yeah, I think we're just getting rid of this guy and attacking you for four. Um, Hidden Cataract. This is pretty much just as good as a spell. And we can still cast everything. I think we'll just keep that on top. It doesn't look like they have anything relevant to descend here. Descent, not descend. Wait, hold on. Fathomless descent. Descend. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Getting a little... Getting a little deep here. Another one of these guys, huh? Man, this guy just keeps coming out. Okay. What did this guy do? You may sacrifice another creature or artifact. They sacrifice their little hammer. Put two 1-1 one -one counters on each of up to two creatures. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of up to two. Got it. Got it. All right, let's get our let's get our land here. So, I mean, this guy is definitely worse than this guy, right? Okay, so how does this work when I when it dies? May pay four if you do discover four. Let's do that. Okay. And we get this guy. We do control an artifact. Tap this guy down with a stun counter. Play this. Get a free land, okay. And then get in there. Yeah, I think that's fine. I 
I mean, next turn you can also sacrifice this to get something for free. Yeah, that's fine. They get a treasure and we take five, but... We have joined the dead. We can just kill it next turn. They have one card in hand. Three cards in our hand are essentially all removal. Who did they put on? This guy. Fascinating. So we can actually play this guy to block here and then also keep Join the Dead up. One, two, three. This guy. Could have also just attacked with the reef, put them to three. It does seem like our deck is having a hard time putting our cards in the graveyard for descent, but also it doesn't seem like it's impacting us that much. I will trade. They did not want to trade. Create a treasure. You got it. Fascinating. I'm pretty sure we just activate this because we don't have anything to do with that guy. So let's discover four. Oh, all right, cool. Make a guy. No reachers, right? Seems good. Oh, they're gonna just kill it. Deals five star at creature and opponent controls. That's pretty good. What is the craft of the artifact for four? So they can just sack their treasure token and pay four and then make another five five. Yep. Definitely chump blocking with our three three here. Seems good. It's not really a chump block when we're trading. Definitely trading with our three three here. It also makes our chupacabra much better. What do we have? One, two, three. We have four now. I wish it would just tell us. <laughs> that would be great. They have no cards in hand. Are they... They're spring-loading? They're getting their blade-wheeling chariot? Shut up and take my money! Oh, one dollar. Hey, everybody, one dollar here. Well, see you later. <laughs> see you later, one dollar. Always a pleasure. Sounds good. Oh, they have no cards in hand. I think we just do this again. Oh, this guy is now a 1-3 that if there are four more, we, we draw a card and lose a life when this guy attacks. And I don't mind trading with either of these. I guess we actually see what we hit first, but if we get removal, we can also take this guy out. But then they just crew this instead, right? My God, he donated his entire being to you. <laughs> That's very generous. This guy's a 4-4. Four, four. I don't think they're going to block. I feel like we can also attack with this, and then if they block, we can Chupacabra it. Gets negative 4, negative 4, so it only has to take 2. Maybe we just, I think we just attack with fungus and 
and this guy. Does that make sense? What's the point of attacking with the fungus? Like, if they're going to block here, they're going to trade. I guess and then take one. But if they are if they were never planning to block here, then there's just a free token. I'm just trying to go to the combat phase here. Okay. Oh, we're just trading with this guy. Okay. That seems fine. So now I have five, right? Five permanents. If only I had six. What are we getting here? Oh, <laughs> cool. That's not fantastic, but it does I can add one mana. I guess we're just playing Skullcap Snail here. Yeah, all right. And we still get a token because the guy went to the graveyard. And what are we at? Six permanents. All right, so this this will just kill this guy next turn. And they have one card, so. Plus we have this to, ex we can exile this from the graveyard to discover five. Discover is sweet, man. I have thus far enjoyed Discover. Yes. You get an equipment. 6-6 six, six, haste. Got it. No attacks. Okie dokie. So I believe that's the game. I will check here that we have six permanents. I will kill your guy. And then I will attack for Xaxes. Ataxes. For Xaxes. That felt like a a good round. I felt like I had a lot of things to do, which was very satisfying. I do like this. I, I think we're bringing in Tithing Blade. I'd love to discover some cheddar and sour cream chips right about now. <laughs> well, that is the literal best chip type, we'll say. Tithing by... I wonder if... um. I wonder if... MTG bot has not updated with Caverns of Ixalan cards. Tithing Blade is when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. And then you can craft with a creature, which means you exile a creature from your graveyard or one you control along with this card. And then you get this, uh, this artifact that says at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. The problem is when you don't want to cut something and you're just like, you know what, I'll just play 41. What problem is? Good old Tithy B. I thought you said something else there. I thought Kurt would say good old Titty B, and I was like, what in the earth? Why would he say that? Uh, yeah, this seems good. We have Deadweight for turn one. We have a Confounding Riddle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the Descent 4 on here does seem a little bit more difficult, but by turn five, maybe it's not... So put this here. 
We'll put worm and confounding riddle together because I feel like that's going to be. What does this guy do? Oh, this is the guy that draws you a card whenever you do a thing. Yeah. Kill it. This guy is a, this guy's pretty sweet. You may discard you know, like this, letting you loot every single turn on a two, two for two common creature. That's wild, man. That's really good. Especially in a set where like the cart, the set where the cards in your graveyard matter. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Titty B donated a dollar. Hey, did someone go? <laughs> hey, Titty B. Oh, the old, the classic 2 3. I too will play a 2 3. Card, 90 cards beginning with tit found. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta refine that search. There's too many tits. This is how you get. This is how you get ostracized from the magic and streaming community, I imagine. Another one of these guys, eh? Okay. Fascinating. So, we're definitely going to do this and then play... I, I was... I was I, I was concerned this came into play tapped. It does not. You're gonna kill in response. I should have played this. Then I have a counter spell up. I guess we can still fanatical offering if they try to do some nonsense. But the whole point was to keep this counter spell up. Oh, making it a three three is pretty good. Where's the card? Put the real card in your graveyard. Where is it? Oh, is it this guy? Yeah, that guy can go in the graveyard. All right, now we get to keep up Confounding Riddle. And I'm probably just going to pass so that we can block whoever they have. This costs five, four to activate? Oh, no. I guess they just put it on one dude, but we're still taking... Like, us dealing them three and them doing this and attacking for six, we're not winning that race. Sure. We have two permanents, which is pretty good for Chupacabra. It's one creature, right? Yeah, cool. Oh man, holding them back. When did they say not exactly a land? Oh, this card's very good. Yeah, we're going to confound that. Gee, Willikers. Okay, that's good. Two perms in the graves. That's, that's what the kids are saying these days. Y'all got two perms in the graves? No one says that. I think we're just getting in here now. Like, even if they pump one, like, we still get to uh, block. And if they kill this guy, then we have three and we can kill one of their guys, so. Our hand seems very good. Plus we have two hidden cataracts on board. Well, we're definitely blocking because they're attacking knowing that we can easily block one. <coughs> That guy's good. Oh, interesting. You didn't just kill my 5-5 five, five and attack for 4. That is an interesting choice. So, 3 perms. We're just going to use this guy to get rid of one of your guys. Crew one, huh? That's pretty good. I 
I mean, I'm very tempted to block here. No, I don't think we attack here. We're at 17. We're at 16. They're at 17. Like, we're not winning that race. If we fanatical offering and are able to get rid of one more permanent, or if something just dies naturally, then we get to draw two and uh, exile. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, it's Mike B and Titty B. Oh, they also did not crew their, their spring-loaded saw blades, which is good for us. I will definitely trade there if we if we were about to trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play five mana, but that's it. I'm kind of tempted to crew this and then just attack for three. They have one card. We have four cards plus two uh, of these jobbies. Everything is activated as sorcery in this format. Wait, what? Exile a creature, a vehicle, or non-basic land? Oh, this isn't a, this isn't flipped yet. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. That's yeah. That's good to know. Okay. Seven. Might as well just get in there, right? They're not. They're probably not blocking. That guy's. Let's do that. Sure. Let's pop these graveyards out. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, another creature artifact enters... Uh, when this or another artifact enters the battlefield, up to one creature you control gets plus one, plus zero oh in haste. Sure. You got it, dude. Now they can also craft this. Yeah, I was like, why can't I target it? Is that a bug? It's a feature. I see. Two counters on that guy. An interesting choice. I will take five. Oh, it's your boy. Old Sinuous Benthy. We have three. That's pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, what's our best course of action here? We can only play one thing, unfortunately. Oh, what we can do is we can actually activate this guy. Still can't crew this, right? And what does it say? Trans then transforming da transform dousing device if you control four more artifacts. So that only triggers when you cast it, right? Oh, it triggers when any, any artifact enters the battlefield. Okay. We're learning. We're figuring it out as we go. This is eight damage. Okay, so let's get rid of... What do you got in here? Let's go Volatile Warrior, Treasure, Big Fat Idiot, and Creature. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yes. Hit this guy. Kill your guy. <laughs> And now we just get to keep the other join the dead. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, all right. Just going to pass here. Free join the dead. This guy floats. Nice. All right. Solid 2-0. Our deck seems sweet, but... You know, hard to say after one after one round. Hey, is Titty B Mike B's brother? That's still funny to me, so.
What is titty humor? <laughs> Uh, you know, come on, you know, everybody knows. Well, Titan is the same length. Can't be short for Titan if it's, if it's the same. It's the same size. I always think this guy explores, but he doesn't. He just makes a map token. It's like a delayed explorer. Uh, we'll explore later. Who's got the time in this economy, you know? <sighs> What does this thing do? Create a map token, all right. So it's a two one for three. Making you a little mapperini. Can you only do this as a sorcery? No. So we'll play our land. And then we're just gonna attack. Definitely tempted to just keep confounding Riddle up here. Okay, free, free land. Sounds good. <sighs> Very aggressive. Oh, God. What does this thing do? It's a one, two for two with flying vigilance. Add a, gr add a blue to cast an artifact or add an, or do an artifact thing. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. See that I will counter. You don't need to be dealing no five damage. And... Man, I actually should, maybe I should have activated Restless Reef here. Oh, that's great. Yes. Okay. That was just free. This is a free free removal. Probably not the best creature to have spent it on, but maybe I should just put in my hand and then we could just cast dead weight. That's probably better. Yeah, for some reason I actually like, oh I'm like, I guess I gotta cast it. You don't. Sure. That guy's big. Oh, that's nice. So now we at least draw one card. Actually, let's... I just attack with this guy. Wow, there's a resplendent angel coming. Good grief. All right, third eight. Seems good. Okay, that's just mill a card, draw a card. But then for six mana, you can craft it with your map token or this guy. All right, a lot of lands, a lot of lands. 
Can only do that. I guess we're just attacking with this. Let's let's play a land first, or let's uh cast our Mephitic Draft. One, two. That's fascinating. We have what one? <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Tap up to one creature and put two stun counters on it, sure. Yeah, they're definitely crafting this 6-6. Six, six. That guy's pretty good. I wonder if that's just better than this. Like, the odds are of us drawing one card off of both is pretty good. Nautilus, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play both of these, but this guy doesn't do much currently. This guy just draws us a card, but it still gets a 4 4 on the board, which is not the worst. What did they exile? Oh, you can exile an artifact in your graveyard, too. That's pretty good. And this is the same thing. And they can just get their cartographer's companion. I guess that's fine. I don't know if I care about that tremendously. Oh, uh, I'll take this one. <laughs> Sounds good. So that's good, because we can actually draw three if we sack this. We can also sacrifice this, which is a little bit worse, I think. <clears throat> I mean, I think we just have to survive this 6-6 six, six here. Okay, so they're gonna, I assume they're exploring here. Deconstruction hammer was what they hit. Plus one, plus one, and has three and a tap to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Sure. They put it in the graveyard. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's beast moding over here. Oh, he's got vigilance. Look at that. They just gave it vigilance. Okay. That's pretty good. <clears throat> hey, that's pretty good. They have one card in hand, huh? So, one, two, three, four... Hope their last card's not a counter. It does not look like it was. I think we're just playing Nautilus here to get more bodies on the board because they're at four, so. Yeah, Waylaying Pirates. Wow, that was a good draw. Get busy stunning. Number one stunner right there. So if we activate Restless Reef, we have four, three creatures that are lethal. They have one blocker. And two cards in hand. And we can activate both this guy and Nautilus. So. So 
So like both their cards have to do something here. Whenever this attacks, create a treasure. That does not do anything because you have to, you can't even crew it right now. Interesting, Hidden Cataract was not the play. Oh, well, that's fascinating. What's this? Return up to one other permanent you control to its owner's hand. Sure. Tap up to one artifact creature. <laughs> wow, what a combination. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. And of course it has flash. So you just produced two blockers. I guess we still attack with these two. Yeah, that still seems great. Um, one, two, three, four, this is five. That's unfortunate. I think we're just fanatical offering with this black mana here. Okay. So this guy, this guy. This is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, I think we need a blocker. But these guys are both lethal, so. They have to double block. Hmm. So they have zero cards. They can play. How, how, are they able to play a guy and get rid of our blocker? I have my doubts. Because our, our mana's not doing anything else, actually, so. Oh, we also have this guy. I forgot this guy had Vigilance, so I'm dumb. This feels like a hidden cataract play, but they just didn't draw anything good. Yeah, all right, so let's see. They hit another pup, <laughs> so that's fine. <clears throat> that's good because it does, actually that, does that do it? No, I don't think so. Do they bounce their lodestone needle again? Yeah, that's pretty good. Replay Lodestone Needle. It's, two stun counters is pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't attack with both because otherwise they just die. Oh, they're just attacking with one, perhaps. Oh, they untap their, their guy, I guess. Three permanents in the graveyard, okay. Yeah, they're giving their, oh, they're tapping my guy down so then they kill us, fantastic. Yep, that's a good, that's a good play. I thought we, I thought we were doing well here, but then I forgot they could tap our guy as well. Fucking amazing combination. Had to have pup and this on board, then had to hit another pup off of. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I think I like this better. Like, if we're just drawing one card off of it, like, I think it's just better. Plus, we can still sack it to Fanatical Offering. We can flip it into a 6-6, six, six, which is just very nice to have.
Kerbit just sent me some MTG Arena pre-release codes if you guys want them. Get them. I will play first. Wow, I'm like really... That's kind of frustrating. What a frustrating loss that was. Literally had two blockers. They had to kill both of them. So they did. Also, Tithing Blade not being an equipment seems very strange. Mm, yeah, it's got to be this, actually. Oh, I guess we could play... Oh, no, we're not playing this. We're not making them sacrifice nothing. Add one mana of any color. Sure. Would love a land instead. That would be cool. We did not hit a land. Uh, what is this? Destroy an artifact or enchantment? Okay, that's an artifact. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just play this guy. Like, next turn, sacrificing this guy to Fanatical Offering should help our land situation, presumably. Oh, it's under here. Still nothing to play, huh? I bet you got... I bet you got a bunch of nonsense, my friend. Okay. Do you think they're going to confounding this because we're stuck on lands? No. That's nice. Big knots. <clears throat> I agree completely about draft. That is not how you spell or say that. Okay, so. I feel like all of our cards are doing things. Well, that's kind of cool. What do we have? One, two, we have three cards in our graveyard already? That's pretty good. <coughs> oh, I like a buried treasure activation here. That's kind of cool. Do they not have anything? What's going on? For the creature, huh? I think we're just flipping this. I mean, dealing them a damage every turn from here on out seems pretty good when they have no pressure on us, so we'll see if that actually seals the deal. And they just didn't play anything again. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Now we also have six, uh, two caves for this guy. I don't think we flip this. We're in the block step, though. Maybe we flip it. Who knows what we do, you know? Six. No, let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm wondering if we actually... Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four. No, we don't have enough mana, do we? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we had seven, I think we could. I think just doing something for six is better here. Or five, even. 
Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll just draw a card. <clears throat> What's going on in this game? This is very strange. Now you're doing something. Deals five damage to this gentleman. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I saw confounding. I don't think I don't think I want to just do like just walk into a, a counter spell here when they've done nothing. Sure. Do you bounce your spring loaded? Yep. All right. Yeah. So they could have actually bounced that and then I guess they couldn't have replayed it that turn. <clears throat> and it only targets tapped creatures, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Is an artifact? Of course it is. That's pretty good. Yep, no way around that. Like they had to have an instant creature that turned in order to do this, so of course they did. Hmm. Well then, I guess we're going to combat. Oh, interesting. Hmm, fascinating. I guess I'll just tap your dog down because your dog's gonna just kill my guy anyway, so. Exile a tapped creature. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, that's fine. This is not a treasure token, it's a map token. That is much different. So we'll just cast this guy instead. Uh, let's get these two, I guess. <clears throat> like, do we know anything that's in their hand? I don't think so. Like, I did want to get this guy down when the shields were down, but I also didn't want them to just sit on this <coughs> deconstruction hammer ability. Uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. How good is it in the limited, though, when you actually don't have a way to gain five life? I think it's literally just a 4-4 four, four flyer at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can... Actually, we can go Mycoid, Blycoid. One, two, three... Go to the block step. You're doing something? Sounds good. Uh huh. Always with this guy. Huh? Oh, I guess I knew this. Yeah. Obnoxious, but what can you do? Yeah, we'll just play Windy. Double map tokens. All right. <clears throat> they have five more minutes than we do, so. Sure. This guy can craft into a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, this should be game, right? They're tapped out. We just get to Ray of Ruin that guy, which they know we have. Uh, put it on top. Okie dokie. Game three. Our deck seems very good. Their deck seems good too, though. So that's where we're at right now. I absolutely love starting on Restless Reef, so I will keep. Hmm. Now we have two drop, three drop, and four drop. Or we can just make a four drop that makes a one one next turn. I kind of like that better. Equip for one. That's very good. What is that? Oof. Well, that's pretty sweet. Thank well, I guess you. we're killing that. Yep. We could also pay, play Wailing Pirates and just keep it tapped for a turn. Hmm. Oh, what up, Abydos? Uh, we are currently 1-0 and we're in game three in round two, so. Oh boy. This is whenever we're putting a graveyard from the battlefield, discover three. That's a lot. And I also want to do another upkeep, but what if one other card... I'm going to do another upkeep. I'm going to risk it. And it's pretty bad if they have it, but... I'm 
Okay, great. And they hit, oh, that's pretty good. I mean, that's okay. It's just replacing itself, basically. So now we know that's not in their hand, which is good to know. That's good info to have. And they didn't do anything. Oh yeah, give me my fungus. I'm a fun guy, come on. Hmm, terrible. And we have a riddle in our hand, so that's pretty good. That's That guy's obnoxious. Okay, land would be nice. I would appreciate land, because then we can cast our four drop. And we'd actually be in a good position to do something here. But, we're not. <clears throat> but they can't kill anything with this guy. We can block it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just pass. I'm going to keep up Riddle. Tom Riddle. Little Harry Potter joke there. It wasn't very good. That's okay. Really? This is an easy block. Sure. Now they don't play anything? Jeez. This is very strange. Get in there, little, little fella. <clears throat> Sure. What's our graveyard looking like? Three? Three perms? All right. No gates, though. Oh, they didn't do anything again. Oh, yeah, now we're... We're living the good life here. And we get to keep up confounding Riddle here. <clears throat> well, this seems to be going well for us. You never know, though. We are hitting a lot of lands, which is good. Tap something, put two counters on it. That's fine. Is it going to be my naughty? Sure. What? Oh, come on. Ugh, that's frustrating. Ugh. That's super annoying, man. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, these two gum shoes. So we got seven, seven menus. <sighs> they should be at eleven. <clears throat> 
had we not skipped our attack phase. That's sad. Three mana. Ch -ch 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 Chip and Dales, Rescue Rangers. Sure, you get a two one making a map. You got it. Oh man, they tapped that planes instantly. Sure, you got it. Removal. It's not exactly removal, but we do have a buried treasure here for five. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. Do we just attack with this guy? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them to four. They can't cast their doggo here, so that's something. Yep. All right. Free card is fine. What is the card? I don't know. Oh, it's Fanatical Offering. <sighs> no, I can keep that. <clears throat> It'd be nice if we have one more land this turn. Then we can actually, we could have played five drop or activated the buried treasure. Sure. I did forget it gives its own lifelink. That's my bad. I guess they're making one angel here and getting gaining five. Six, six, sure. All right, <clears throat> you get an angel. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we can bottom that. Play land. Put a counter on. Actually, no one right now. We'll just attack with our Nautily. All right, well, we're taking five here, I presume, from Deconstruction Hammer. That equips for one. Yeah, I think we're in bad shape here. 12 point life swing is pretty brutal. I literally just forgot that this actually activates to give itself plus two, plus two in lifelink. <coughs> Come on, join the dead number two. Oh yeah, we're just dead now. Interesting. Mm, maybe not. 
We still have outs, I guess. Okay, so upkeep. Oh, we can't do it during upkeep. That's sad. Oh, boy. Well, that guy saves ground things. <clears throat> so one, two, three, five. So we can actually do this. Put a counter on you. Uh, what was the revealed card? Oh, no. Draw. Kill you. Get in there. Oh, wow. That was a great... That was it. That's what we were trying to do. <clears throat> so now we're in good shape. We're at four, but they don't have anything that can attack this turn. All right. Oh, man. This is... This game is intense. And we also only have three minutes on the clock. They have nine. Okay. They exiled my 4-4 flyer. Make a flyer of their own. Yep, they're just playing blockers for days. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so they have to block two of these guys they can't just block one or else they die sure um actually that's bad because then they I think I do want to trade here though I don't know if that was correct. I might have wanted to put counters on that guy first with like the captivating cave, but I don't think we had mana to do that and activate the restless reef. I mean, they're gonna have to activate this guy, right? So what do we have? We have one cave. I think. Five, six, seven, eight. We have ten mana. So if we play this for six, we could easily hit one card off the top. And we can't also attack, though. We also have buried treasure for five. Which lets us attack with this guy and buried treasure. This game is actually fairly intense. I think they're trying to decide whether they inverted Iceberg here or Hidden Cataract or do nothing. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I had a feeling they had something, so, yep. Always have the dog. I think they have, th yep, they have three of those in their deck, so that's cool. <clears throat> and by cool, I mean annoying. Can we do anything with that? Is it a sorcery as well? Yep, all right. Okay. That's what we were kind of hoping for. But then again, they just flip this and kill us, don't they? <clears throat> hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think we just have to craft and cross our fingers. That does not do it. <laughs> I think we're just dead now. Wow, that was such a ridiculous game. Ugh, that's, that's frustrating. Wait, this gets exiled, so it actually can't attack if the turn it comes into play. Okay, that's, I forgot about that. Otherwise I would have just played one of these guys. Oh my God, craft is confusing now. 
I forgot it exiles the card. It doesn't just flip it and you can attack like thing in the ice. It's not a thing in the ice. It's literally just a new spell. Okay. Yeah, this would have been so much better if we just hit it off the top. Sure. And equip your little guy. Just, yep, sure, planes. You got it. Oh, where was that last turn? Oh my god. I don't think we have enough mana to do what we need to do. Unfortunately. Oh my god. What does this guy cost? Seven still? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, I guess we can try to hit something off this guy. Ha! <laughs> oh, yep, that'll... That's the end. Wow. That was a great game played poorly, I think. So, yeah, that's frustrating. If we hit that, what we've drawn? Chupacabra? Would that have done it? Yep. <clears throat> yep, if we drew this instead off of this guy. Well, we wouldn't have enough mana to cast it, I guess. I don't know. That's really sad. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like Miss... Miss interpreting what craft did was what cost us that match because instead of playing something to the board we just tried to find an answer um we could have easily just played one of our big creatures especially the life linker that would have actually turned the whole game around but we did not what did they do did they do anything that could have killed that guy not really no like even drawing this after they played this guy would have changed the game i'm pretty sure we could have won this game I just kept thinking, like, once they activate this, they can attack with it immediately. But that's not the case. They have to uh, actually untap with it because it exiles it. So, learning learning craft as we go. <laughs> but, I mean, look at our hand. Like, 5-5 five, five lifelinker, counter an artifact or creature, and discover X. Dead weight, chupacabra. Is this going to stay here? <laughs> Is this, gonna, is this just in the game now? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, what have I done? I mean, I'll definitely keep this hand. Uh, does it go away? <laughs> do, I, do we just play around the hurl into history? Who knows? Do not foresee us. Um, okay, we might just have to restart. <laughs> I don't think there's a way around this. What if I, like, what if I make this bigger? Can it go? Oh, uh, it's just there. It's just there forever. Okay. Well, even less inclined to Island Cycle now. What does it say? Plus one, plus oh, and whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice it. Deals two damage to any creature. Okay, so it's just a convoluted shock. Okay, so next turn we can play Waylay Pirates on whatever they do. And then eventually we'll have enough mana for Boulder and Marauding Brine Fang. Done. Easy game. They didn't play anything. So... We also don't control an artifact, so I guess we're not able to do that. We'll just play a 3-3 then. <laughs> mm, sure. Like, even this guy for 6 with only one cave is still pretty good. You know? It still draws you a card. It's like half a Muldrifter, you know? Oh, you're just going to abrade it. Fascinating. Joke's on you, buddy. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, we could have cycled this guy, too. I don't know if we would have, would have wanted to, but... Jesus, it's got so much text. That, like... Oh, we didn't attack either? Holy crap, I am just giving up value left and right. But maybe that's correct, you know? Maybe we shouldn't have attacked. He said, trying to save face. I mean, they haven't played anything. Oh, we're definitely keeping that. Because we don't have a choice, but... <laughs> still that's very good 
especially like if they don't play something big here being able to just keep hurling the history up and get a free discover seems really sweet yeah because honestly like if they had something that deals four i'd rather not just walk into it oh a second color everything's starting to make sense now <clears throat> okay, one one bat. Equip. Got it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. E one, two, three, four, five. Do we just play Marauding Brine Fang instead as a six seven with ward three? That doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> uh, you're just blocking here. Fascinating. Are you just trading? Plus two, plus zero, oh, and first strike. No, don't do that. Buka, 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 buka. All right, so then we just two for one to you, even though it cost us six, but we get to keep our guy and you didn't get your treasure. Frankie likes it. Two for one's a two for one, man, you know? This format seems very deep. I, I, think, I think this could be a really good draft format. Also, if you guys are new here, definitely consider checking out, not new here, I guess, Definitely consider checking out Factor. They are a current sponsor of the stream. They provide delicious prepackaged meals. So you don't have to cook. There's no cutting. There's no preparing. You just pop them in the microwave made from super fresh ingredients. And with the link and promo code, you get 50% off your first box, which is a great, great way to support the channel. So consider doing that. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. What is it? This guy's just a fucking big guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. <clears throat> fascinating fascinating eight. I think we just have to cast this guy and take a turn off right like we can't attack profitably <coughs> This guy costs seven, so next turn we can actually play both of these if we want to. Now is the time. Sure. They had a planes. Got it. They played it immediately. Plus two, plus zero, oh, and first strike for two mana, and also making a treasure is a pretty decent trick. Every card seems like it does multiple things, and it's very, very value heavy, which seems really good. Sacrifice another creature artifact gains indestructible, and you tap it. So this is a very, this is the typical three one for two that does something to give it indestructible. We're hitting a lot of lands here, which is totally fine. Oh yeah, we wanted to switch this with the other card. Hmm. I do like a dead weight here. One, two, three, four, five. And we still have the mana for Hurl into History, and we can play Necropolis here. This is six damage. That ain't gonna do it. Might as well get in. <clears throat> we have a lot of action on board <laughs> with with a restless reef, two cap, two uh, hidden lands, and a cave. Um, are we attack with one or more non gnome? Yeah, we're not letting that resolve. I assume we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit join the dead. That's my guess. 
Oh, fanatical offering. Seems good. Draw three. Yeah, that ain't terrible. And make a map token. Okie dokie. Artichokey. So we can actually go Blood Rage, Mycoid, play Buried Treasure, sack it, and then activate it as well. Because we can go one, two, three, four for Mycoid, one, two for Buried Treasure, one, two, three, land mana for five. That seems good. They do not equip. Okay. Well, that's good for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. They didn't equip. What does that mean? Why didn't they equip? Three, four, five, six. Tap two and tap artifacts. Uh, so they can actually double block and then tap two to give this guy plus two. Oh, it's activated only as a sorcery though. Yeah, I don't know. I think we just get in there. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's play this guy first. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's join the dead. Play lamp? No. So we can go one, two. For buried treasure. And then we can just main step kill this guy so they don't have any tricks. We know one of the two cards in their hand, so this is fine. Okay, we just won the game. <laughs> okay, so let's get rid of Mephitic Draft. Put an inverted iceberg in. I feel like most of the time we're just drawing one card off it anyway. So being able to just turn it into a 6 6 seems very good. It's also a card you kind of, I feel like you'd want one of, maybe not two of though. But having just an onboard 6-6 six six just waiting there is pretty sweet. <coughs> hey, look, we got it. I'll keep this. Do like join the dead. So now we have Pretty solid curve here. Oh, that guy's even better. <clears throat> On three. Yeah, that's something. All right. Do I want to just kill this? Whenever you attack with one of our non-gnome creatures, you put a 1-1 one -one counter on this, and you create X 1-1 one -one gnomes. That's just got to go, right? We just can't let that survive. Oh, we hit oh we hit a restless reef. And we're so close to this guy, aren't we? Yeah, I think we just want to kill it now because if they have like the dog to save it, I really don't want them to just get a free card off of it. Sure. You got it. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually pretty decent because we can just play this guy and play this. <clears throat> this guy's not going to do much for us unless we just want to chump and trade. The old chump and trade. Okay, same card. Got it. Mm. What? Block. Seems fine. I mean, we're just trying to increase our Chupacabra, which is it's two right now. So I think we just Mycoid here, and then next turn we can play this block and then activate. I don't know if that block was correct. I felt I don't. It's better than taking five, I think. When attacks, when you control two more artifacts, it gets plus two, plus one, sure. 
That guy's big now. Hmm, fascinating. <coughs> Interesting. I think we'll just take it this turn. I don't think we're in dire need to block. Play Diggy Boy. We could also double block, put four perms in there. That doesn't do anything. You can only sacrifice this as a sorcery, but you do get to discover at any, any point. They only have two cards. I think we can weather this. Fingers crossed. Man, everyone has this. This has to be uncommon, right? It's common. That's interesting. I guess it's a lot of work. It takes four mana. And it's only plus one, plus one. Yeah, all right. It's just interesting because there's a lot of good artifacts in this set that it just kills. Like, it's just removal against an Iceberg Titan. Yep. Also, being able to tap your equipment is really sweet. Oh, you're just, they're all going on that guy. Fascinating. Okay. Well, I'm definitely chum blocking that guy. So, you know. It doesn't get trample, right? Does it have trample? Do you have to pay mana for that? No. Interesting. We're just blocking. That seems fine. Because, like, we still get to use our four mana for the turn. Oh, come on. Oh, it's twice we've hit this. Well, we kind of have to do it. Yeah, it also puts things in the graveyard, too, so. <coughs> All right, well, that guy's pretty good here. It does tap down their creature. What is what is our delve at? Our descent at four permanents? And both of these guys are five? Oh, this guy's a four now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. So we can actually win scout, make another map token, play land. Hope this math works out. Nice. Uh, pass. <laughs> All right, well, if they don't cast a big creature, we can start keeping up Hurl into history. Oh my god, how many Sunfire Torches is this? <clears throat> like, right now they can go kill this guy, kill this guy, deal two to this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Jesus god. <laughs> okay, so they can only deal six, thankfully, I guess. That's good. They're at 20? I wonder if they're going to start sacrificing hammers at any point. They kind of have to, right? They can sack two and force me to block with this guy, I bet. Sure. Yep, that's what I figured they would do. This is only nine, though. I think we're probably just taking nine here. Oh, that's interesting. What did we hit? 
Oh, a six mana flyer. That's great. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to keep the other artifact around here. Six permanents in the graveyard. Okay. Nautilus. So what do we need? Five mana. And then we have, we're one mana shy of using Hidden Necropolis and also hurtling into history. So if we actually put a counter on this guy, he is, they are able to kill this guy, but not our Nautilus. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. We do have one, two, three. Oh, we can't, we don't have four blue though. So that's, Five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do this. If we hit a land, it's just... Uh, where is the revealed card? It's it's here, but I expect it to be... No, we're not going to put that in the graveyard. <clears throat> so they attack, they kill this guy. We can chump block here. I just don't think attacking is safe here. I'm just hoping they play something that's an artifact or a creature. <clears throat> Come on, give Papa an artifact or a creature. Interesting. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, okay. Do we not play a land? I think we missed a land drop too, which actually is a bit obnoxious, but... All right, so now he's just a regular 4-5, <clears throat> which is not as bad. Let's play our Benthosaur. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take a run on my boulder. I thought we had more caves than that, but I think we're thinking of the, the other game. At five, I just don't feel comfortable attacking here. I don't know what they could have, but there's a lot of removal in this format. Okay, I think we're in okay shape here now because we can actually play runaway boulder and kill this guy. 10. Fingers crossed. Oh, we just win the game. All right, three packs, free draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you next time. Be sure to check out factor.com. Thanks for the support. I'll see you later.